Hello everyone. Something that I get asked a lot from uh, other demos is how much damage should I be doing? Um, it's often a question like that or um, how much does your DPM matter or whatnot. Um, so first to get some terms out of the way, uh, pretty much every competitive server has integration with a site called logs.tf, uh, which show actually pretty thorough logs of everything that happened in game, how much damage people dealt and take, their kills, deaths, assists, whatnot, what classes they played, how much damage they did per weapon per class, um, and you know what, uh, who won the mid fight, basically everything in the game is... Uh, is contained in these logs and it's not a very uncommon sight to see someone plays a game the second that the game ends they open up the log and then sort by damage <laughs> um, and damage is kind of the peak stat that people like to look at of course kills are quite important as well and deaths for that matter too um, but damage is is the big one that people care about a lot and people oftentimes get bent out of shape if they think that their damage is low. And sometimes people think that they weren't doing anything wrong if their damage is high. Um, now, of course, for as nuanced a game as sixes, um, these are, of course, oversimplifications and certainly not the case. And there's always more nuance, as you expect by this point on my channel. But I did want to talk about how much uh, does damage matter? What you should be looking at in a log and kind of how to interpret the game based on a log because of course um, Based on a log all you can do is interpret it does not tell you um, How well you're holding a particular door or if you were caught in disad or if your target selection was good It, it won't tell you these things um, But they can be diagnostic and they can give you um, interpretations of what happened so yeah, that's that's kind of what I want to uh, to talk about here. So for starters, um, at a baseline level, as a demo, you are one of the best equipped classes to deal damage, and dealing damage is not your role necessarily, but it's your tool of achieving your or carrying out your role, I should say, playing your role, role playing. <laughs> um, so. What do I mean by this? Well, at a baseline level, as a demo, your primary job is controlling space, um, securing new space for your team, and if possible as well, you like to create opportunities for your team during team fights. So, as far as controlling space, I mean, a big one, of course, is just high ground. Um, stickies are one of the only weapons in the game that are as good at shooting players on high ground. Um, as they are shooting players like neutral or on low ground. And in some cases, uh, they can even be like better at shooting a high ground. Uh, sometimes you just get a nice arc and you can pop a sticky uh, that just kind of covers any high ground that uh, someone can be standing on. A, a classic example I can think of is the height on Snakewater mid. Uh, you can pretty much just roll someone up there very easily from the floor. Uh, sometimes even easier than it would be to get damage on them um, if they were standing in a more neutral position. So, yeah, you are fantastic at denying high ground and denying teams from taking space. Um, and you do this by hitting these players, right? Um, likewise, if you're securing space for your team, let's say you just pushed a point and you want to be trapping out the doors so that they can't get through, um, yeah, you are threatening anyone who's walking through with a lot of damage. Um, likewise, if it's, for example, a counter sack and the other team's trying to pressure, um, you are trying to prevent them from taking space and getting good spam and pressure by usually damaging them. So as a result, um, damage as a demo can be pretty indicative of how well you're doing all these things, right? Um, but of course it's not perfect and there are certainly other factors. I mean, for starters, you don't have to necessarily do damage to do all of your, your jobs. Now, of course, some of your jobs you do need to do damage to do. Um, for example, if a team is trying to push through a door that you're holding, then you should be getting damage on them. Uh, but let's say that you're trying to control some height and 
or control some space or something, and you are just laying sticks, no one's on the sticks at the moment, let's say like the scout jumps off of height, um, so you don't really have to debt that stick, you can just leave a carpet, and there are some cases where just carpeting something, you aren't getting any damage, but you are still actively um, carrying out your role successfully. A, a classic example I can think of, of you know, a demo being a massive part of of the of uh, a hold or something, while not actually getting any damage whatsoever, would be the case of playing Snakewater last against a sniper, right? Where obviously you don't want to be peeking lobby against the sniper, um, and you want to be denying the sniper from peeking. So typically you're holding you know right side as a demo, and against the sniper I'm literally just carpeting, denying any type of peek whatsoever. And as a result, not only am I not getting any damage, uh, but that door is on complete lockdown, and that's just one fewer door we have to worry about, and one fewer peak that the sniper can get off. And, you know, you'd be doing your roll perfectly well uh, without doing a lick of damage. So there are going to be certain cases where um, doing damage and playing your role are sometimes different things, which can, again, make the damage stats unreliable. Um, and another thing is part of how much damage you do is attributed to the other team and how they play. Um, we can use the we can bring up the example again of trying to secure new space for your team um, or secure newly uh, gained space for your team. So you dry push a point and you immediately start trapping out the door. Uh, well, if no one tries to push that door or peek that door, then yeah, you're just not going to get damage against a team. On the contrary, that instead really tries to pressure that door, then yeah, you might get a ton of damage. So again, this is indicative of a, a factor outside of your own aim and DM and whatnot that uh, influences your damage. Um, kind of out of your control, right? Now, um, what is the next point I should make? So yeah, as far as damage goes, I do think the, the stats on the log are worth considering, right? Because they do tell some story with regards to how much fighting was happening and how much opportunities you probably had for damage just based on the overall log itself. If overall players are getting very little damage, then yeah, it's probably reasonable as a demo to get like 200 damage a minute. And in some cases for exceptionally slow games, like on a Metalworks, for example, if there's just very little transitions happening. It's just a lot of stalemating on last or something. Um, and, you know, you play on a team that if they're pressuring right side and like to default pressure right side, for instance, like my team did, um, then you might just be watching shutter and not doing too much and not be doing a lot of damage. So if it if you're seeing like very low damage across the board, then, yeah, it's not um, out of the question that you are also getting very low damage. And in some respect as well, if you are getting a lot of damage in these uh, situations, sometimes it is, you know, quote unquote, useless damage, right? Now, of course, all damage is somewhat helpful um, because just destroying crit heals and getting rid of buffs and whatnot can be helpful. But, you know, it's not <laughs> it's not out of the question that you can get an extra 50 DPM um, just because you tend to peak more in stalemates and hit players for 50 damage that instantly gets healed off and doesn't really affect the state of the game that much, right? Um, so not all damage is created equal, and you do want to be getting the majority of your damage in critical game states like team fights, like mid fights, last pushes, last holds, all those situations in which demo damage really matters. Um, yeah, you, you want to be getting it there. But of course, the um, point I'm making here is you can get kind of a read for the overall damage of the server based on the log. You can get a read as well for the other demos damage um, based on the log and kind of... I, I don't like necessarily comparing yourself to the other demo because of course, you know, your team could just be catching and they just get a ton of damage as a result. Um, but it gives a general idea of how active the teams might be if it's a generally symmetrical game where both teams are like pushing and holding in, in similar game states. Um, yeah, you might, that that is worth considering just to kind of see, um, see what's going on there. Um, so yeah, again, diagnostic um, tool, but not the be all end all and not something uh, you should particularly worry about. One thing I should mention as well with regards to a log 
is, well, on the topic of damage, your damage taken does matter as well, because if you're, you know, dealing 300 damage and you're like, oh, perfect, I'm dealing 300 damage, I'm doing great, but you're taking like 350, then it's not that great necessarily. You might be happier actually dealing 250 damage and only taking 200, right? Um, because you want to be contributing more positively to the damage front than you're you're taking generally. That that won't always be the case. And of course, again, there are just so many factors going into these logs that simply make them tools rather than be all end all. Because some teams might prioritize spamming demo versus other players. And in some cases, uh, you can just be getting spammed out and everyone is playing to counter you on the other team. And your team can just take advantage of that and win. And as long as you're winning, um, then that's that's generally what matters. Um, but yeah, the other stat I really wanted to talk about was deaths, because as a demo, you do really want to minimize your deaths. There are very few times in which you want to be dying as a demo. Um, this could even be the topic of its own video, honestly. But, uh, obviously, in last holds, you really don't want to be dying. If anything, you want to be dying absolutely last, or dying, um, just before the point is capped, if not immediately after. Um, and likewise, I mean, in transitions and just in general, like a demo death is something that teams can really pressure off of and a demo death plus another pick is something that teams can push off of and take points off of. So you really want to be alive. And if you're dying a lot, uh, especially a lot compared to the rest of your team, then that is a bad thing. Um, there are some cases where a demo death could be worthwhile. I mean, if you, you know, find a time to bomb in and then like get three picks, it, it doesn't matter if you die necessarily because obviously your team is still uh, advantaged there. And if you're dying to like force an Uber or whatnot, a lot of the time uh, these are these are totally acceptable. But overall, you do want to be minimizing your deaths. And that's something to, to take into account when you're uh, looking at a log. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, these are all just diagnostic tools because you shouldn't look at a log to decide whether you played well or poorly necessarily. Um, well, I shouldn't phrase it like that. Um, you shouldn't be playing to get a good log. I, I don't think that is a good way to play the game. But um, if you're noticing a particularly bad log and like particularly bad stats, then that might be a red flag for something to review. Because again, if you actually want to improve and actually want to figure out what's going wrong, then yeah, you you review the actual gameplay of what's happening. Because again, the log won't tell you, um, you know, how well your pushes are going, or if you're shooting the right things, or if you're properly denying height, um, or or if your DM is bad. Your log won't tell you any of those things, believe it or not. Uh, so you actually have to go look at the gameplay to to figure that out. Um, so yeah, diagnostic tool and a tool to kind of figure out um, what might be worth looking at, but it's not kind of the be all end all in and of itself and you can be doing things perfectly fine um, without it necessarily showing on the logs. They, they can kind of tell an inconsistent story. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the answer to the question I get a lot of like how much does my damage matter? It does matter. Your role is in many cases to do damage, to create opportunities for your team with damage to hold doorways with damage um, but it's not the whole story and there are some cases where you can play demo properly without doing damage uh, in those situations and also um, there are other factors at play that might influence the damage that you are dealing so anyway hopefully that was uh useful hopefully it was interesting uh even if you're not a demo player or a competitive player at that uh, just to kind of hear about uh how people think about the game and how they, you know, rate their performance outside of the game. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.